Will Perp continue to pump? That's a question we all have been wondering and in this video, I'm gonna attempt to answer that. Yes, I believe it is going to pump in the short term. This is a day trade that I took on yesterday. You can go to my channel, watch my video that I posted on Perpcoin yesterday. I did get a worrying comment from a guy telling me, you gotta take profit, this is a meme coin. Exactly, I understand that. I said, you're 100% right, but I've added my stop loss for the position to $1.27 and it will trigger if it hits. That is my cost basis, $1.27. So $0 risk in this trade. And, and since then I've moved my stop up to $1.30. I want to take a look at the chart on the daily we're up 8.7 percent on the monthly we are a far cry from the peak of about two dollars and 30 cents that we hit on the third and all round we are very far out from hitting that peak of 20 dollars now perp is a uh, popular you know not very popular only 384th on the list and volume is down significantly 47.5 percent in the 24-hour period and this precisely is the reason why I think Perp is about to pump. And this is just my opinion. I'm trading this meme coin. If you're doing any crypto trade, make sure to lock in your stops because I burned myself thousands of times in the past. Well, not thousands, but dozens. Okay. There's pretty big news. The Bitcoin ETF, uh, the Bitcoin ETFs have just been approved yesterday. And there is some pretty big news shake up in crypto and the crypto markets. So I just googled crypto outflows inflows i go to chain analysis i actually heard this from a really good i a good friend texted me last night and said well this is really weird the bitcoin etf was just approved today but all of the altcoins seem to be pumping and not bitcoin petrol protocol actually perpcoin wasn't part of that pump unfortunately we've been basically holding steady and i had a good night's sleep because i did have my stop in so there's no risk to me, but okay. So this website, and if you're trying to figure out what is going on, here's a very quick solution. So you're gonna hit Command A, Command C, and then we will go over to ChatGPT. We aren't noobs, so we pay for GPT-4, 20 bucks a month, and we say, tell me what is happening to Bitcoin right now. Enter. Our little research assistant that we pay 20 bucks a month for is gonna get to work for us, and we read. Bitcoin is currently experiencing fluctuating market conditions. There's a notable decline in Bitcoin moving from mining pools, indicating reduced selling pressure from miners. There's a substantial increase in Bitcoin held for two to 52 weeks, suggesting growing investor confidence or a trend towards holding. In terms of trading, the Bitcoin close price has risen slightly. However, inflows to exchanges and the increase in Bitcoin held on exchanges indicate a mixed sentiment with some investors possibly preparing to sell. The supply data shows a minor decrease in Bitcoin held for less than a year and in liquid Bitcoin. Overall, the market shows cautious optimism mixed with readiness uh, for potential sell-offs, influenced by regional dynamics and individual investor strategies. Yeah, prone to sell-offs. And we're talking about Bitcoin because Bitcoin is 45% of the crypto market. And of course, when we're trading meme coins, otherwise known as uh, poo-poo coins, <laughs> I'm not going to swear for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, we got to be really careful because price could just flush down. Okay. So that's, uh, of course, I mean, I'm beating the dead horse here, but that's why you have to have the stop in. Okay. So now that we have that covered, we've gone to Coinbase Advance. This is where we're actually reading the candles of what's going on with Perp. Why do I think Perp is going to pump? Very simply, just look at the volume. Volume determines crypto pricing. The more people that are either trading or holding the crypto, the more valuable it becomes. So I want us to just take a look at these bars down here that represents volume. Okay. Now we're looking on the, we should be looking on the one hour time frame. And note, this big green candle, for instance, had a volume of 1.5 million per exchange in that hour. You see that volume spike. We did have a red volume spike the next hour. There was less volume. And then all of the selling that occurred here, buyers just weren't present. So price just continues sliding. You notice there isn't even that much volume. So there's very select few people selling perp. We, we went from 1.5 mil to 1.1 1 .1, to 275 to 125 to 169. So very low. And look at this volume. It's really petering out. We're going up. We're continuing this uptrend. You know, just zoom it out and, and, and note this volume from this huge pump, this huge pump that brought us all the way up to 2.2 dollars. A lot of volume here, a lot of volume. Look at these candles. They're, they're, they're basically, you know, at the peak, they're half a million, a million. And now 
we've been slowly selling off and noting that the volume seems super weak on the sell side. So the sentiment doesn't seem like a lot of people are just, oh, I've got to sell this coin. We got to get out of here. So anyway, folks, that's my little analysis. I'll keep you uh, updated on what's going on with this trade. We're currently at $1.37. So up 10 cents in the money on our crypto trade. Everyone, thanks. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the